How do you remember? What does it feel like or taste like or smell like? What do you see inside your head? What do you hear? Because I can't do any of that. Hi, my name is M. Eifler, and this video is documenting my piece Prosthetic Memory in its world debut. Prosthetic Memory has three components. Handmade paper, journals, including drawings and writings, video documentation edited into daily or weekly videos that capture the events and experiences and thoughts and feelings that are all churning up in my life. And lastly, a custom machine learning algorithm which acts as a cohesive bridge between the physical and virtual objects that make up my prosthetic memory. In the gallery, a copy of one of the paper notebooks is set up on a table where audience members can turn the pages. The AI uses a camera above the book to recognize which page has been turned to and plays the associated memories on the desk nearby. Because of my traumatic brain injury, I can remember very little. My long-term memory, which should hold the memories of my childhood, my wedding, my graduation from grad school, only manages to hold on to things like my phone number and how to ride a bicycle. We hear a lot about AI these days, about corporations using it to manipulate our behavior, about police officers using it to recognize people in public places, but there's very few direct experiences of people using AI in intimate situations with intimate data to craft their own tools and, and prostheses using this technology. Made in collaboration with Steve Settlemeyer, my partner, Prosthetic Memory is entirely homemade, with the entire pipeline for data capture, data augmentation and labeling, as well as training and inference, all happening with computers in our house with no cloud resources. What does memory mean when it can be experienced the same way both by the person with amnesia as well as by audience members and friends? What does AI mean when created and maintained within a home? And what does identity mean when the story you tell about yourself and all of your attempts at reminiscing are filtered through an algorithmic lens?